Hey guys, it's me, Peter, and today we're taking a look at an awesome product from Edelkron. This is the Cider Plus version 2. I got the small size one which retails for $499 over at edelkron.com. There's also a medium size version for $599 and a large version for $699. Inside the box, you'll get a card with a link to Edelkron's website to view the video instructions over there. I like this idea because I hate reading through the manuals and it's just a waste of paper. I would rather watch a video about it than to read the manual. Next we have these accessories that includes two allen wrench for adjusting the screws on the slider. There are also a couple of threaded screws for mounting your camera or any tripod head. They are of different sizes. The one left here is the smaller one while the bigger one is already installed on the slider. I think it's the 3 8 inch one but I'm not really sure. So that's nice that they included those in here. Lastly, we have the Slider Plus itself. Again, this is the version 2 slider. It's made of CNC machined aluminum parts. It weighs 3.3 pounds and has a length of only 33 centimeters. Of course, the other versions has a different weight and length. At the top, you'll find the 3 8 inch screw. But depending on the type of head or camera you're going to use, you have to install the appropriate screw. There's an Edelkron branding right here, and also another one on the other side. Again, this is the body or the moving part. These are the rails where the body slides, and these are the end parts. There's also a belt which is also part of the sliding mechanism of the slider. On the end parts, you'll find these threaded holes. Here, you can attach some accessories for the slider like the target tracking and the wizard motion control modules. These modules will make the slider even better to use because the speed of the slide is controlled and you can focus on an object during the slide which is really cool. At the bottom, there's a 3 8 inch hole for your tripod. You could also see the wheels that are sliding along the rails. There are also four adjustable feet at the bottom of the end parts. So when you use the slider on the ground, you can level the slider. This could extend to about an inch and a half but don't take my word on that. To use the slider, simply disengage the lock located on the other side, and that's it. You can now slide the body side to side. As you can see, the sliding action is really smooth. Once you're done using it, bring the body to the center and engage the lock again. Make sure that the lock is always engaged when you're not using the slider or when you carry it around. You don't want it sliding side to side by itself. Also, while using the slider, do not stick your fingers near the sliding mechanism. Now, I'm gonna mount my fluid head and camera on the slider, as well as mount the slider to my tripod. By the way, I just want to mention that your tripod must be strong enough to support the slider, the fluid head if you're using one, and the camera. Also, make sure that the tripod legs extend farther than what the slider can travel, to avoid it from tipping over. The good thing about my tripod is that I can adjust the base. I will just release these levers to make the tripod legs spread out some more to accommodate the slider by giving it a more stable base. Okay, everything is set up and ready to go. First, I want to show you guys how far the slider plus can travel on the tripod. Again, the whole thing is just 33 centimeters long, but the camera travel is twice its length, which is fantastic. This is really well constructed. The sliding mechanism is very smooth. The design is really unique. I never seen anything like this. Now, as you can see here, everything is on one side but the tripod is not tipping over. I don't know how Edelkron was able to do this. There must be a counterweight on the slider or something to prevent it from tipping. I'm gonna stop talking now and let you watch some footage of the Slider Plus V2 in action.
Now, another good thing about the Slider Plus V2 is that when you're doing these forward and backward shots, you will not see the rails in the shot. That's because the rails also move with the camera. But when you're using other sliders which are not as compact as this one, your sliding movement is very limited. That's because if you move back too much, you will see the rails in the shot. So that's it for my review of the Edelkron Slider Plus V2. This product really changed the way I make my videos and I'm very pleased with it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.